Good afternoon children. Today I decide to take a very cute and an interesting poem, The Squirrel. Before starting with a detailed explanation of the poem, it's always important to know something about the poet. The name of the poet is Mildred Bowers Armstrong. She was always an ambitious girl. She was a good student. She earned her bachelor's degree from Northwestern University in 1923. Her first volume of poetry was Twist or Smoke, which won the Yale Younger uh, Poets Prize Award in 1928. And now back to the poem without any further delay. The Squirrel The Squirrel is a very innocent looking and a very cute creature. Everyone loves to admire a squirrel. Here the poet too is a nature lover. She, as a child, she was a very naughty uh, girl and she was a keen observant. Let us see what the poet tells about the squirrel over here. The squirrel. He wore a question mark for tail, an overcoat of grey. He sat up straight to eat a nut. He liked to tease and play. And if we ran around his tree, he went the other way. So you see in the first sentence, the poet refers a squirrel to a human being. That is why the poet has used he instead of it. That means the poet has personified the squirrel. The poet has given a human quality to the squirrel. Understand? Just as we say, the flower smiled at me. No flower smiles at us. Do flowers smile at us? No. But it is our feeling. It is our imagination. And we say that flower smiled at me. That means the flower was given a human quality by the person. In the same way, the poet here has given a human quality to the squirrel. And that is why she has used he instead of it. Now the poet says he wore a question mark for tail. Instead of telling the, the squirrel has a tail, the poet says he, uh, she, uh, he wore a question mark. He has worn a question mark. Instead of tail, he has worn a question mark. Why? Because the tail looks just like a question mark. The tail is very bushy and it looks just like a question mark. So the poet says he wore a question mark for tail. An overcoat of grey. See in the second sentence, an overcoat of grey. During a winter season, we all wear overcoat to protect ourselves from cold, don't we? In the same way, the poet over here compares the body of the squirrel with an overcoat and says, the squirrel's body is fully covered with fur and it looks grayish. That is, neither black nor white. It is a neutral color. It means, that means it is a color without color. It is a neutral color. In the second, third sentence, the poet says, He sat up straight to eat a nut. He sat up straight to eat a nut. That means the squirrel, all of us know, the favorite food of a squirrel is nut. But have you seen a squirrel eating nut? No. You might not have noticed. But, this, but here, we need to notice one thing that the poet is a very keen observant. The poet has given uh, uh, minute importance to all characteristics of a squirrel. That is why the poet says the squirrel sits upright. The, uh, the squirrel sits in a straight position, upright position and eats his nut. He liked to tease and play. Another quality of a squirrel. See, it, 
he liked to tease and play a squirrel as i told you is a very fun loving a very mischievous creature so it loves to tease anybody it loves to play with anyone okay and if we ran around his tree he went the other way the poet says if we ran that means the poet is not alone the poet is with his friends and the poet is also after some fun with the squirrel so the poet says we thought of having some fun with the squirrel so we thought of catching it we went around his tree but to catch the squirrel but what happened we could not catch the squirrel instead it escaped from our sight so the squirrel is a very fun loving very naughty creature children have you understood the poem okay then read the poem and in the next online class we shall discuss more about it okay till then bye